Good evening. Shabbat is about to start. We're sitting at the bank of the Snake River underneath the Red Wolf Bridge in Clarkston, Washington. And we are going to read the Book of Jonah. So, the Book of Jonah, Chapter 1. And the word of Yahweh came to Jonah, the son of Amiti, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh the great city and cry out against it, for the, their evils have come up before me. But Yonah rose up to flee to Tarshish from the presence of Yahweh and went down to Yafo and found a ship going to Tarshish and he paid the fare and went down into it to go with them to Tarshish from the presence of Yahweh. And Yahweh sent out a great wind on the sea, and there was a great storm on the sea, so that the ship was thought to be broken up, and the seamen were afraid. And each one cried out to his mighty one, and threw the cargo which was in the ship into the sea to lighten the load. But Yonah had gone down into the lowest parts of the ship, and he laid down and was fast asleep. And the captain came to him and said to him, What do you mean, sleeper? Arise, cry out to your Elohim, if so be that Elohim shall think about us so that we do not perish. And they said to each other, Come, and let us cast lots, so that we know for whose sake this evil has come upon us. So they cast lots, and the lot fell to Yonah. So they said to him, Please explain to us, for whose sake is this evil upon us? What is your occupation, and where do you come from? What is your country, and what, from what people are you from? And he said to them, I am a Hebrew, and I am fearing Yahweh, the Elohim of the heavens who made the sea and the dry land. And the men were exceedingly afraid and said to him, Why have you done this? For the men knew that he fled from the presence of Yahweh, for he had informed them. And they said to him, what are we to do with you to make the sea calm for us? And the sea was growing more stormy. And he said to them, Take me and throw me into the sea, so that the sea becomes calm for you. For I know that this great storm is because of me. However, the men rowed hard to bring the ship to land, but were unable. For the sea continued to grow more stormy against them. And they cried out to Yahweh and said, We pray, O Yahweh, please let us not perish for this man's life and do not lay on us innocent blood. For you, O Yahweh, have done as it pleased to you. Then they took Jonah and threw him into the sea and the sea stopped raging. And the men feared Yahweh exceedingly and slaughtered a slaughtering to Yahweh and made vows. But Yahweh appointed a great fish to swallow Yonah. And Yonah was in the stomach of the fish three days and three nights. And Yonah prayed to Yahweh his Elohim from the stomach of the fish. And he said, I called to Yahweh because of my distress. And he answered me from the stomach of Sheol. I cried and you heard my voice for you threw me into the deep, into the heart of the sea and the floods surrounded me. All your breakers and your waves passed over me. So I said, I have been driven away from your eyes. Would I 
ever look again toward your set-apart Hechal. Waters encompass me, unto life the deep closed around me, weeds were wrapped around my head. I went down to the base of the mountains. The earth with its bars were behind me forever but you brought me up from my life, from the pit, O Yahweh my Elohim. When my life fainted within me, I remembered Yahweh, and my prayer went up to you, into your set-apart, Hechal, your temple. Those observing false worthlessness forsaken their own loving commitment. But I slaughter to you with the voice of thanksgiving. I pay what I have vowed. Deliverance, Shua, is of Yahweh. Then Yahweh spoke to the fish and it vomited Yonah onto the dry land. Chapter 3. And the word of Yahweh came to Yonah the second time, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and proclaim to it the message I am speaking to you. And Yonah arose and went to Nineveh, according to the word of Yahweh. Now Nineveh was a great city before Elohim, of a three days journey and Yonah began to go into the city on the first day's walk and he cried out and said yet forty days and Nineveh shall be overthrown and the men of Nineveh believed in Elohim and proclaimed a fast and put on sackcloth from the greatest to the least of them and the word reached the sovereign of Nineveh. So he arose from his throne and took off his robe and covered himself with sackcloth and sat in ashes. And he proclaimed and said throughout Nineveh, by decree of the sovereign and his nobles, no man or beast, herd or flock, shall taste whatever. Let them not eat, let them not even drink water, but let man and beast be covered with sackcloth, and call mightily to Elohim, and let each one turn from his evil way and from the violence that is in his hands. No, who knows whether Elohim does turn and repent, and shall turn away from the heart of his displeasure so that we do not perish. And Elohim saw their works, that they turned from their evil way, and Elohim relented from the evil which he had said he would do to them, and he did not do it. Chapter 4 But it greatly displeased Yonah, and he was grieved. And he prayed to Yahweh and said, Please, Yahweh, was not this not what I said while I was in my own land? This is why I went ahead and fled to Tarshish. For I know that you are an El, showing favor and compassionate, patient, and of great loving commitment and relenting from doing evil. And now, O oh Yahweh, please take my life from me, for it is better for me to die than to live. And Yahweh said, You are right to be displeased. Then Yonah went out of the city, and he sat on the east side of the city and made himself a shelter, a sukkah there and sat under it in the shade to see what would become of the city. And Yahweh Elohim 
appointed a plant and made it come up over Yonah to be a shade for his head to deliver him from his discomfort. And Yonah greatly rejoiced over that plant. But as morning dawned and the next day Elohim appointed a worm which struck the plant so that it withered. And it came to be when the sun came up that Elohim appointed a scorching east wind and the sun struck on Yonah's head so that he grew faint and he asked him, asked for his life to die and said, it is better for me to die than to live. And Elohim said to Yonah, have you rightly become displeased over the plant? And he said, I have rightly become displeased even to death. And Yahweh said to him, You felt sorry for the plant for which you have not labored, nor made it grow, which came up in a night and perished in a night, and should not. I pardon Nineveh, that great city in which are more than 120,000 beings whom have not known their right hand from their left and much cattle.